It's a stack of donuts. See, that's Tim's philosophy. He calls the dumbbells biscuits. When I get swollen in the chest, I call that scotch eggs. To basically just describe things in the gym to suit things that you eat. Like a stack of American hot pizzas. <laughs> What's going on, Men's Health? I'm John Boyega. We're at Physique Warehouse. Today, you're gonna to train like me. So now let's go get it. I think staying in shape is very, very important because as an actor, I feel it's important to maintain your body. We never know what job is next most of the time. And so in preparation for these roles that come your way, it's uh, good to keep the body in shape. I definitely have a specific aim that I'm working on right now. But I found that a lot of the roles that I'm being offered or in consideration for do have an element of physicality. I guess it's something about getting to the 30s too. I just turned 30. So now you have to get a little bit more active. So I'm right now looking to shred more fat, get rid of more, more water and get more lean and build more muscle. I'm excited about this. I can wear them tight V-necks now. <laughs> this is my trainer, Tim Blakely. We train six days a week. This is the guy that gets me jacked. I mean, there's no smoke and mirrors. It's nuts and bolts, hard work, consistency. Today, we're going to take you on a typical chest workout. Come on. OK, first exercise is flat barbell press, sorry, bench press. We usually, um, we get good warm up because it's the first exercise in. So we will warm up with a bar, never go straight into weights. So we'll do a couple of sets of 20 with a bar and then we'll just progressively build up to three working sets. John's very strong in upper chest and lower chest we need to work on. So that's why I, I pick flat bench press. And this is the point where I do my little walk around, try and walk off the agony. Form is, is the most important. You want to use the muscle uh, rather than just lift weight. It's body position on the bench. Yeah. Tuck your shoulders back so you take the shoulders, the chest is the uppermost lever. Um, and then we're pressing from the stern and keeping the elbows in. Ah. Rep ranges will be anything from 6 to 12 reps. Second exercise was a Nautilus decline press, emphasising on the lower chest. It's a great, great biomechanics, good, good machine. That rep range will be anything from six to 12, even six to 15. That was a warm up. Yeah. <laughs> Next exercise will be cable crossovers. I don't know why they're called crossovers, because we don't cross. <laughs> uh, but we have the cable in the uppermost position because we want to work, again, work lower chest. We keep the chest high and squeeze the hands in underneath the chest. And it's a great moment to look at yourself in the mirror, see where all the details are. <laughs> <laughs> Number four is a modified sort of dumbbell fly press. So it's, it's neither a press nor a fly. With John, he's biomechanics, he's got very long arms. So fly is really, he's just going to feel, in a, in a good way. Yeah. Fly is really going to feel on the outer chest. I like to keep the arms bent, so you're sort of half pressing, half fly. But again, it's all about, you know, if you shut your eyes, concentrate on stretching and squeezing the chest. As soon as you feel that stretch, you fire it and squeeze it and then repeat. I'm, I'm going to stay here for a bit so you just get that, yeah, just get that focus right there. I find myself activating everything just to stay on form and, and still on the bench. Okay, so the next exercise is pet fly. Really good ex isolation exercise because you can really just concentrate on squeezing the chest. John on this one keeps nice light hands. In fact, we keep light hands on most of our chest exercises. The harder you grip the bar, the more triceps and shoulders you're going to use. You can see I use my fingers to push against his chest just to give him uh, a, a sort of feedback sensation so he can squeeze against me pushing into his chest. A lot of these exercises are quite compound, so it's easy for your shoulders and triceps to take over. When we're training chest, we want to work the chest. We don't want to just move weight. So by doing that, you can try and isolate. And it just gives him a better... Uh, sensation, so you get that proper reception. Dips, I'm gonna do dips. <laughs> you got it in you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the last exercise, good old dips. Oh, dips, old school. Yeah, John really struggled with these to start with, but obviously as he's getting stronger and his body fat comes down, your dips get much better. You can see that he leans forward slightly on the dips because we're trying to concentrate more on chest and triceps. We use a wider grip in order to activate the chest. And it just looks good, I'll be real. But don't forget to squeeze hard at the top. Squeeze the chest hard at the top before you release. All right, guys, thanks for joining me and training like me. Uh, remember, motivation is key and consistency is key. Sometimes I don't really want to go into the gym and get this done, but the thought is always worse than actually going in and doing it. You figure out, you never know how strong you might be. Take care training, guys. <laughs>